Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shifra if you are new here. If you saw my setup today, you would be so proud of me. I mean, I've, I've come so far. I wanna try and show you. I'm gonna put my front camera on so you can see. I have a ring light and a proper camera. Who is she? I mean, two weeks ago I had my iPhone and a tripod and now I have a ring light. As you can already see from the title of this video, we are out of lockdown. God, I am ready and raring to go. So I live in London, London is in tier two, so it means I, we can go out and we can see our friends um, outside. So I'm going to the pub with some of my friends and I just thought I'd film a little get ready with me because I'm excited and I want to talk about my excitement. I'm not gonna talk about what I'm doing because I feel like I always do the same stuff. So I'm just gonna talk about life. Today has been the most miserable day of all time and isn't it so classic that as soon as we're out of lockdown, the skies decide, oh, we're just gonna rain all day. So then everyone who wants to go and see their friends has to go and sit outside in the wet. But my spirit is not going to be disheartened by this. I am beyond excited to go and see my friend. I'm just excited for a pint, really. A nice pint. I'm just, who would have thought a year ago that's what you'd be so excited for? But you know what, it's the small things in life. So I've done my base layer, you know, I was thinking, am I gonna go full out? Am I going to do foundation? And you know what? No. I know it's the end of lockdown, but it doesn't deserve foundation. My skin will not be able to cope with the foundation, and I think the long-term implications of me putting foundation on are not worth it. So I'm just gonna do concealer. But yeah, is everyone else going out? Is everyone making the most of this? I mean, I feel so bad for the people who have left lockdown to go into tier three because i mean what's the difference so christmas is coming i can't believe it's nearly christmas i feel like it was just august do you not think that we it was august then it was september and now it's december like i feel like october and november didn't happen but they obviously they did happen but i don't know where i was what i was doing well i know what i was doing i was sitting in this room in my bedroom <gasps> I don't, the thing is, I don't know what order my videos are going to come out in. I think I'm going to have to do this video second because my new artwork, I am over the moon. It's from my best friend who lives in LA. She's an artist. Lydia Art is her Instagram handle and she does the coolest prints, illustrations, paintings, whatever you want. She will commission it for you and yeah, I'm so delighted. Um, I just think it adds a bit of va va voom to my room. My room was very boring before, and I think now, whilst it's not crazy eccentric, there is a bit more to my room, so that's good. I've actually been listening to a really good podcast today. If you guys haven't listened to it, it's the Louis Theroux, Michaela Cole um, podcast. I'm only about halfway through. I'm saving the rest of it for this evening when I'm on the tube. And I never knew that she used to be Pentecostal Christian. I think it's really fascinating when people talk so openly about their religion or, or she, she's no longer a Christian. But I think it's so fascinating when people talk so openly about their religion because I think religion is, has almost become a bit of a taboo subject. And I think especially among amongst young people because not that many young people are actually actively religious. So I think people don't necessarily talk about religion. So I think it is quite refreshing when you hear someone who is talking quite openly about their experience with religion and, and why they became religious, why they didn't become religious. And, and I, I really like that. I might try and find some more, some more podcasts, but I mean, she is just, she is an absolute role model. I mean, she is, so talented and I'm really excited to see what she does next in her career whether she'll do another um write another show um I could see her collabing with a lot of people and helping kind of doing um a Phoebe Waller bridge like helping um other writers and kind of doing a lot of more of the screenwriting I mean maybe she does that I don't actually know a huge amount about her it's coming up to christmas so need to start buying christmas presents this year my family were doing secret santa 
it's just quite a lot of hassle really to buy every single person an individual present and just in case like what if they don't like it and also you're then buying so much stuff and <laughs> consumerism you know me I'm obviously going to talk about consumerism so this year we're doing secret santa so I can't say who I've got because they might watch my channel and I don't want them to know but I have been scouring Etsy. Etsy is my favourite thing at the moment. I mean, if you guys don't use Etsy, you need to get on Etsy. Also, lol. Etsy just has everything you could possibly want. And it's all from independent brands. And it's actually a lot of the time... Well, number one, uh, most of it is handmade. And it's also a lot cheaper than buying something on Amazon or a department store or, or wherever you would normally buy these things. And it's so cute you can find the cutest things at the moment i'm obsessed with prints prints are my thing of the moment um i mean hence do i look do i look like rudolph because in my mirror i look fine but in reality it could be a different story so i'm just gonna I'll put some powder on top. But yeah, Etsy. Oh, wow. Right. Eyebrows. I'm just doing really simple makeup because I'm only going to the pub, but still. Is this not the most exciting day of the year? I actually feel like it's Christmas. Like, gonna see my friends. Speaking of. Hello. Hello. Oh. Oh, are you huge okay? oh. I'm doing a get ready with me. Get... Oh, I'm so organized. So organized. I love that. I'm, I'm a celebrity. Like, get me out of it. I'm so... I've literally just been rambling on. It's been 10 minutes now that I've been making this video. I am so excited. Tonight is going to be the night of all nights. I feel it. I can feel so it in my bones. Right, okay. Nice seeing you getting ready and YouTubing. I, too, am going to go and get ready. Mine is the YouTube. Okay, love you. See, yeah. I'll text you when I leave my house. Okay, perfect. Bye. Bye. I've just gone and got ready. I'm sorry. My friend called me and just both as excited as each other, really. God. So I'm just going to finish getting ready. I've just... To be honest, I said I was going to do a chill makeup look and I've gone all out. So hope everyone at the pub appreciates me put some bronzer on and what to wear because basically obviously we have to sit outside and it's been pouring with rain all day so i'm gonna have to wear like a puffer jacket with a hood probably and um the last time we went to this pub and we sat outside the seats were soaking wet and we didn't have anything to clean it with and the poor waiter came with his tea towel and he honestly had to use about three tea towels because it was that wet so i hope we are under a cover today. I know some of them have heated seats, but I don't know. They give them to you randomly, so we'll just have to hope that we are lucky enough. So, final touch. I'm just going to do my brow. No, brows I've done. I'm going to do my eyelashes. Okay, so I'm almost ready. I am just going to put on some lip gloss. And then, I don't know, shall I do lip liner? I feel like I'm here now. I might as well. Might as well do the whole shebang. And who knows what will happen tonight. I mean, I'm saying it as if, realistically, go to the pub, sit outside, see my friends. But, I'm s okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm being really soppy. But, this may be the best day of 2020 like thoughts discussion you can pause the video have a think today today is the 3rd of december is the 3rd of december oh my god it is sorry is the 3rd of december the best day of 2020 pause okay the reason it is is because i forgot to say today's my dog's birthday he turns 15 15 today that is 107 in dogs in dog years or is it 105 alexa what's 15 dog years in human years 
There are approximately 105 years in 15 dog years. He's 105. I'm sorry, but the 3rd of December is the best day. Tonight's for him. I mean, as you can probably tell from my videos, he is the life and soul of the party. He is, I think, the best the best Boyle member, the best Boyle family member, so shout out to Rocky. I feel, I feel strange. I haven't worn makeup in a hot second and I don't know whether I love it or hate it. I feel like, love, hate. I feel like I like, but I think I, I look very, uh, very bad, you know? Not jazz hands there, but you know, okay? I need to stop talking. Okay, well, I hope you, if you want to focus, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Stay safe, social distance, wash your hands, wear your mask, and yeah, enjoy. If you are in tier two, if you're in tier one, have a, have a freaking party. If you are in tier two, go see your friends. If you're, you're in tier three, enjoy the video. Just sit at home, have a drink, enjoy the video. Okay, bye.